What's up everybody? Today we're going to be discussing the new Walkers ATAX headsets. Welcome back everybody. Like I said, today we're mainly going to be talking about the new Walkers ATAX. Uh, I do have the Walkers Razer XV out here just for a comparison because they kind of have some of the same features as far as the app and sound features and things like that just so you can kind of see a little bit of a comparison but these are some of Walkers newer headsets. Uh, I like these because it's kind of got the little rope to go around your neck and then you have the little earpiece for a little added security so they'll hook right over your ear here and then just slide right down in there and then you can adjust them where you need them. I like these a little bit better than the Razer XVs. Uh, the big thing for the Razer XVs is this retractor button here. Uh, so if you haven't seen that video you kind of see they'll retract back in. This is right where I cheek my rifle. So it does bump and pull it back into it, almost pull them out of my ear, and sometimes it does pull them out of my ear. So rifle-wise, it's just that, that one button, but overall still a very good option for headsets. Um, these have been really, really good. I will say, uh, when I first got them, it took me a minute to figure out uh, which earpiece I needed to have on there as far as size wise uh, because it does come with if I'm not mistaken three three pairs of foam tips so it took me a minute to figure out exactly uh, which foam tips I needed to have on there um, some were just too big uh, the smaller ones were letting some sound get through which I didn't like and then these it started out with getting some sound through that I did not like and it was just really making sure I had them adjusted correctly in my ear. Uh, once I was able to get all that narrowed down, um, these are going to be uh, my go-to headsets. The XVs are definitely going to be a backup. I still have the ropes, uh, the Walker Rope Hearing Protection, uh, which is very similar to these. The only difference between these two and the ropes is you don't have access to it connecting to the app on your phone uh, so if you did not know for these walkers does have an app that you can put on your phone where you can control the volume the auto shut off and all that stuff but the ropes don't have that uh, and then they don't have the different sound options so what i mean by sound options is with these you've got uh, universal clear voice uh, high frequency and power boost to choose from when you're using them the ropes you don't have that option uh, plus i had some issues with the ropes and that's why i don't have them out here uh, i had to send them back they're currently being replaced by walkers so that's the big reason why i don't have them out here but if i did i'd probably just have these two because same features just different ways they're going to wear um, your volume buttons and everything are up under your earpiece here okay then you've got your charging port up under the other earpiece. And then this right here, everything on your left earpiece is where you would turn it on and stuff. So you'd press and hold this little button. If you can see it right here at the tip of my finger, you press and hold that button, they'll power on. And then if you want to flip between your high frequency power boost, clear voice, you just press both the volume up and down buttons at the same time. And it will change if you don't have your phone or don't want to hook it up to your phone while you're using them. So you do have that option. The sound quality is really good. I've used it Bluetooth as far as, so yes, again, these are both Bluetooth. You can connect and listen to music. You can talk on the phone. Uh, sound quality between the two as far as listening to music seems to be about the same. I didn't see one really better than the other. Um, talking on the phone, the sound quality was really good. Nobody had any complaints or said they couldn't hear me or like with the ropes because the ropes kind of hang, the microphone kind of hangs back here a little bit, kind of more behind your neck almost. Uh, there were some people that said 
you could it or you could it did sound like I was down in like a tunnel or in a hole or something like that so it was a little muffled at times so again you do have the options of the clear voice the high frequency the universal and the power boost uh, I usually mainly keep mine on clear voice just because that kind of drowns everything out but the person talking uh, they are both Bluetooth 5.0 now the big difference is this is going to, these, the XVs are going to be a noise reduction of 31 decibels where with the ATACs you're getting a noise reduction of 24 decibels. So a little bit of a difference there as far as the noise reduction. As far as comfort, to, mo to me they're both about the same. Um, if I had to lean a little bit more toward one or the other, I would say the ATACs because the foam earpieces are, I don't really know what kind of word I'm looking for here. I wouldn't say mushy or squishy. I guess they form a little bit better to your ear than what the Razer XVs do. Uh, so a little bit, just a little bit. I'm not talking about a huge difference here. Um, I've worn both of them all day long in a class. They're both very comfortable. My ears don't hurt or anything like that. Um, if you want to see a comparison video with these and the blue or the ropes, I've got a different video. I just wanted to have it out here just so you could, since they had very similar features. Um, the application on the phone, if you do have issues with it and it hasn't been updated, uh, you do need to update it for the ATACs to work. If you hadn't updated that app, then it's probably not going to work for you uh, but the app again you can control the auto shut off so these also have these I think are defaulted to a four hour auto shut off I want to say the Razer XVs here are probably around about the same time frame so it's going to default to the auto shut off, where was it at, am I missing it here? So four hours is the auto shut off on all, all that. Now you do have to, it defaults to the auto shut off. So when you get them, it's, the four hours is what it defaults to. So that means it's what it's already set to. Once you connect it to the app, you can go in and turn that auto shut off off. So if you don't want it to have auto shut off at all whatsoever, you can connect it to the app and go in and turn that off or you can lower it to two hours and I think you can crank it up to six or eight hours if I'm not mistaken. Sorry I don't have those details readily available. You can definitely go in and read about all that. I just wanted to kind of let everybody know because I've had a few people uh, asking me about the ATAC since I posted some pictures on social media when I got them. So I wanted to try them out a little bit before I did the video, but these are these are my go-tos. The Razer XVs are going to be my backup. So if, say, my battery dies out in the middle of class, I can fall back to these at least to get me through. Uh, but I will say the battery life is really, really good. Of course, um, on here, seven and a half hours of Bluetooth string battery life. Um, I'm sure they're probably going to say the same thing. I will tell you. Today is, what, Monday, I believe, so I had a class. So Thursday, I wore them for a couple hours listening to music, even had a few phone calls while I was cutting grass. Uh, then Friday, I pretty much wore them all day. Uh, the only time I had them turned off was during our lunch break. Um, and then Saturday, I wore them all day in class as well too. The only time they were turned off was during lunch break, but I would say probably the last hour and a half, two hours of class, the battery finally did die out. So to give you an idea of actual usage, um, again, that was, I would say at least two, two and a half hours on Thursday, uh, six and a half to seven hours on Friday, and then probably after about uh, five, five and a half hours Saturday is when they kind of crapped out on me. And I don't mean crapped out like crapped out, I mean the battery died. I shouldn't say crapped out, but the battery died on them. So 
very good long battery life. The XVs are about the same. I've gotten about the same amount of usage out of them. So I really, I will say I do like having the options to go between like the clear voice, the universe of the power boost and the high frequency. I'm not going to get in a lot of detail with that. You can go check that out in the other videos that I've done or you can go on Walker's websites and check that out as well too. And hey Walker's, you know, maybe we could uh, connect and maybe help out all my followers and subscribers and maybe hook them up with a promo code or something. Uh, just kidding. No, no, really. For, for real. But no, these uh, have been really, really good headsets so far. Uh, I don't really see. These have been great headsets. Again, it's just this retract button. That's the only thing is that retract button. Maybe if it was back behind the earpiece or on the inside uh, would be a little bit better. But it's just where I cheek my gun. It bumps the uh, buttstock there and retracts it down into my ear. But now sometimes I'll use them running pistols. I don't really have any issues. Uh, sometimes they will turn on my head but or on my neck, but that's not a big deal. But again, these are gonna be my go-to. Uh, so far I have really, really liked these. I know they just released their new silencers at SHOT Show. Um, I haven't ordered any of those. Uh, maybe they'll see this and hook me up and send me a pair and I can do a review video for you. Uh, but those are also out there. Uh, they also, too, have the options of being controlled by the application as well. Uh, I will say, from what I saw with the new silencers, they look a little bit more like your uh, Apple EarPods, AirPods, whatever the hell they're called. As far as how they look and feel going in the ear. So I'm wondering if that was maybe some of what some people were saying they would like to see a better option. Uh, the other silencers just kind of went right into the ear. You can still control them. Uh, I know I've got a couple of friends that use them. They like them. Uh, I just haven't invested that money. I've been mainly focusing on uh, these right here because I'll be honest, they're, you know, I'm not going to say the silencers aren't at, out overpriced, but these are a little bit more affordable if you can't afford the silencers. Uh, but now a lot of these companies are working with some of these companies where you can go in and order and make payments on it. So definitely check that out. But just wanted to kind of talk real quick about the ATAX and let everybody know um, what you do have. Again, one of the other big things is you have a uh, high gain optimal directional microphones. You've got two of those. Okay, you got digital protection with sound activated compression. And then of course, auto shut off is four hours the four program settings. Now, the other thing before I forget that I do like about these when it comes to charging is these now take your USB-C charging port because I know a lot of your cell phones have moved to that. So now if you need to use your cell phone charger to charge these, you do have that option where these and the others, the ropes, take the uh, micro USB uh, charging port. So these are USB-C, these are the micro USB. So big difference there, I do like that because most of my tablet, my phones now, all of my chargers are in the USB-C. So another great option there for you as well. Go in and check them out. Um, really, really great headsets. I mean, there's nothing wrong with having extra pairs. So maybe you get one for one platform, one for another platform, but the ATACs right now are going to be my go-to. So I'm going to wear them and use them as long as possible. Uh, last thing before I forget, uh, they do not come with a carrying case, which is no big deal for me. Uh, some of y'all might have issues with that. So I don't really have an issue with it. I go get a Tupperware container. I'll find some type of carrying case to put them in. The XVs come with a little uh, carrying case. Uh, the ropes come with a carrying case, and of course your silencers come with a carrying case. These again do not come with a carrying case, but that's not a big, that's not a deal breaker for me. Some of y'all that might be a deal breaker, but it's not a deal breaker for me. I can get by with it or I can find something to put them in. But I hope y'all have enjoyed the video. Definitely go back in and check out some of my other videos. I go a little bit more in depth with the XVs. I just wanted to have these out since these do have very similar features. 
But always please continue to subscribe, share, like, comment on the videos. It helps me out tremendously. I cannot thank everybody enough for their support. Please continue to give that support. We're going to continue to throw out some great videos. And always remember, folks, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live. See you on the range.